In this video, you're going to learn how to write a quotient of complex numbers in standard form. We're going to go through four examples together. I'll do the first two, and then I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can do the last two on your own. So just a quick reminder, the standard form is this a plus bi form. And remember, i represents the square root of negative 1, whereas i squared is just equal to the integer negative 1. So for this first problem, we have 5 divided by 2i. We don't want this i in the denominator. It's considered improper, and so what we want to do is get rid of that i in the bottom. And the way that we do that when it's a monomial, meaning one term, is we multiply by i over i. Because remember, i over i, this is really just like 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. And so it's not going to change the value of this fraction. It's just going to change the way that it looks. So if we multiply the numerators here, we get 5i. And the denominators, we get 2i squared. Remember, when you multiply, you add the exponent. So 1 plus 1 gives us i to the second here. And then remember, i squared is negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1 times 2, which gives us a negative 2. And so you can write this as uh, negative 5 halves i, or you could write it as uh, negative 5i over 2. It doesn't matter whether you put the negative in the denominator or the numerator. You don't want to make them both negative because then the negatives would cancel and it would then become a positive quantity. So either of these is fine, and you've gotten that i out of the denominator and put it into this standard form. Now notice that the real part here is actually understood to be 0. So this is like 0 minus 5 halves i. Uh, but the main thing is you've got rid of that i in the denominator. So for example number 2 now, we have 2 divided by the quantity 3 plus i. And when you have a binomial like this, two terms, the terms are separated by plus or minus, we're trying to get that, rid of that i in the denominator. So what we do is we use a technique called multiplying by the complex conjugate. And what that is is it's going to be the same two quantities here that you see in the denominator, but you're going to change that sign in between to the opposite. So if this was 3 minus i, we're going to multiply by 3 plus i. In this case, it's 3 plus i. We're going to multiply that denominator by 3 minus i. Of course, whatever we do to the denominator, we want to do to the numerator because anything divided by itself is 1. So it's not going to change the value of this a fraction here. So now all we have to do is multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So here what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative i is negative 2i. Remember, you can think of i kind of like a variable like x or y. And for the denominator, we've got a binomial times a binomial. We can FOIL if you know that acronym first, out, or inner, last. Or we can distribute twice. So you can take the 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative i is negative 3i. Then we're going to take the i times 3, which is positive 3i. And then we're going to take the i times negative i, which is negative i to the second power. Now, remember, i squared is negative 1. But you see this negative in front? So what we have is we have a negative times a negative 1, which really becomes a plus 1 or a positive 1. Do you see how I did that? So i squared is negative 1 times a negative is a positive 1. So notice that the negative 3i and the positive 3i, those cancel because one's positive, one's negative. And in the denominator now, we have 9 plus 1, which is 10. And in the numerator, we have 6 minus 2i. Now, some students mistakenly stop right here, and they say, OK, I'm done. I got rid of the i in the denominator, which is good. But we want to put it into the standard form, where we separate the real part from the imaginary part. And the way you would do that is you would split this up into two fractions, 6 over 10 minus 2i over 10. And then we can reduce these fractions. So 6 over 10, we know, is 3 fifths. If we divide the top and bottom by 2. Here, if we divide the top and bottom by 2, we're going to get a 1 fifth. So minus 1 fifth i. And now you can see it's in the standard form a plus bi. Let's like take a look at two more examples. See if you can try these on your own. Okay, For number 3, see if you can do this one. We've got 4 plus i divided by i. Again, we don't want this i in the denominator. So how can we get rid of that i? Well, remember when it's a monomial, meaning one term, we can just multiply by i over i. Again, i over i is 1, so we're not going to change the value of this fraction. We're just going to change the way that it looks. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this i to both these terms in the numerator. That's going to give us 4i plus i squared. In the denominator, we have i times i, which is i squared. And remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. So let's go ahead and make those replacements here. This is negative 1. This is negative 1. So what we have is 
uh, negative 1 plus 4i. Notice what I did is I just changed the order because addition is commutative. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to split this up into two fractions. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1. And 4i divided by negative 1 is negative 4i. And now you can see it's in the standard form a plus bi. So the real and then the imaginary. Okay, for number 4, see if you can try this one. Again, we're trying to get rid of this i in the denominator. But notice we have a binomial, meaning two terms. So here, because it's a binomial, I'm going to multiply by the complex conjugate. So what that's going to be is 1 plus 2i. You just change the sign in between the two terms. So if this was plus, I'd make this minus. Since it's minus, I'm going to make this plus. Whatever we multiply the denominator by, we want to multiply the numerator by, because this is really like multiplying by 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of arithmetic here ahead of us. We have a binomial times a binomial. Same thing in the denominator. And so let's just go ahead and do the distributive property twice. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2i is 6i. Uh, now if we distribute the 7i times 1, that's 7i. And then 7i times 2i is 14i squared. Okay, in the denominator, what you can do is, again, distribute. 1 times 1 is 1. Uh, 1 times 2i is positive 2i. Negative 2i times 1 is negative 2i. See how the imaginary parts cancel there. And then negative 2i times positive 2i is negative 4i squared. Now, remember, i squared is negative 1. Okay, so what we have is negative 1 times negative 4, which is a positive 4. So 1 plus 4 is going to give us 5 here in the denominator. And the numerator, we've got i squared as well. Again, that's negative 1 times 14 is negative 14, plus 3 is negative 11. And then if we add 6i and 7i, we get 13i. Now, we don't want to stop here. We want to split it up into the real and the imaginary, the standard form. So we're just going to split this up into two fractions. Some people think of this as like a heart, kind of a heart shape there. And you've got negative 11 fifths plus 13 fifths i, and you got it. So great job if you were able to follow these examples. If you want to learn more about complex numbers, I did a more comprehensive video talking about adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing. Follow me over to that video right there, and you can get some more practice. I'll see you over there.